And I wanted to ask you, growing, growing up as a child, obviously they had you on the internet kind of early on. Like, did you have, or is there one moment that kind of sticks out where you had to go through a lot of invalidation or maybe counterclockwise the validation? Do you have anything that sticks out to you? Oh, for sure. Once I got on uh, Casey Undercover, that first maybe three months, they were trying to invalidate me. Like, oh, man, look at your teeth, and blah, blah, blah. And mm. for a second, it was like, dang, that's really crazy. Like, I, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. But then on the mm. flip side, it's like, you're trying to point out something that I have to see every single day. You know, so you're trying to make me feel a way about something that I've already come to terms with. What you see a flaw is a flaw is what makes me unique. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When I smile, people know exactly who I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. it's my calling card. It's my trademark. And you're trying to make me feel bad about that. That makes me stand out from the crowd. But you yeah. want to be. And this is coming from somebody who would rather fit in, you know. So it, for me, I had to learn and I always kind of had thick skin but this is a different level because I'm going to a different level you know mm-hmm. so now you know and this was right after uh one of the videos that I did with Z and then she ended, ended up reposting it and then I just started getting tens yeah. of thousands of followers every day like it would jump you know I think yeah. I went from like 13,000 or like yeah you know, like 13,000 to like 100,000 in a month and then 200,000 a month after, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to get all of these new people coming to me and then having these comments, it's like, yo, that's that's crazy how quickly yeah. they kind of turn on you, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. again, that's a part of it. And uh, it was definitely a character builder for sure. Um, like I said, they're pointing out something that I've already kind of come, come to terms with. So it didn't hurt me as much as it would have if it was something new you know what i'm saying so like if maybe if my hairline was messed up or something i'm like oh man this just happened i had a bad haircut one time and now i won't go back and now they're pointing and i was like oh dang you know that's something that's new so even me i was yeah. i was in my infant stage of accepting that but this is something i've had this since i was like 10 you know what i'm saying yeah. like I always had the gap you know like them saying crooked teeth all of this stuff it's not factual. My teeth aren't crooked. They just got spaces in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. Like hey, I, go yeah, to the, it. Yeah. I go to the dentist every six months. Every six months. My teeth are healthy. So it's like... <laughs> are, My like, boy potted. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. you're saying this, but it's not adding up. Because when I go to the doctor, they're not saying that yeah. they... At one point, yes, they were crooked. They are no longer crooked. So it's like, <laughs> what's happening? It's crazy because yeah. like, as they were saying that, I was getting Invisalign. You know what I'm saying? So it's <laughs> yeah. like, I, you, you, may, you, may have, you may have been right at one point, but you are no longer yeah. correct. So, But again, it's I, I, how I look at people who um, go out of their day or go out of their way to say things like that. I know that their life is just as bad. Because... Yeah. Why would you go to somebody else's page and project negativity like that unless you are experiencing that yourself and need mm-hmm. a way to feel better about yourself by putting somebody else down? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the type of mind frame that I have. And it's like, oh, man, I can't even be mad because you probably hate your life, bro. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that you think that this is going to make it better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That yeah. is the type of response that I have to make them think about the actions that they're taking, like, bro, that's not that's not going to help. That's not yeah. good for you. You know, that's not good for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I, I definitely had those moments. And now I'm getting the flip side. I cut my hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you know, looking I'm, clean. I got, I got the beard. You know, like, I'm really getting into being the grown man that I've known that I am. Mm-hmm. And now people are finally starting to see it. So it's a little weird for me being like, oh, like, Having people be like, oh, you fine, you this, you that. <laughs> and for me, it's weird only because it's like, in my mind, I'm like, dang, y'all niggas late because I've been new. <laughs> I've been new I was this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. oh, y'all, y'all, y'all late. Y'all late to the yeah. game. So it doesn't, it doesn't hit me the way it would have because of what I've been through on this journey mm-hmm. to get to where I am now. It's like, yeah. the compliments is cool, thank you, but it's like, I've been new. You're not telling me anything that I don't know. Mm-hmm. So it don't hit the same as if I was still trying to figure out who I am and and 
everything that I am, flaws and all, and accepting all of that. Before, I would have been like, man, all right, they finally started to know who I am. And it's like, nah, we don't need yeah. that. We don't need yeah. them to, like, regardless, like, if you tell me that I'm fine or not, it doesn't matter because I already know what I am. So if you say it, cool, thank you. If you don't, cool, thank you because <laughs> the show don't stop. We keep it pushing. Yeah, man. Nah, my, my boy was potter. I, I like that you got that <laughs> off your chest, bro. 